So if this is my site and you can click here and this chat box opens up with a question and if my visitor replies then I'm going to get a live message and then in my inbox dashboard I can reply to it and I can also open it on my smartphone like this. How hard is it to set up this kind of live chat? It's actually quite simple and we're going to use a free plugin called talk.to for this. The setup takes just a couple of minutes but before that you should know that adding more plugins and more features slows down your site over time and then your visitors will start getting stuck at loading screens like this which will lose you a lot of traffic and money. So before we add this live chat, let's first make sure that our site is not slow. Let us go open Google PageSpeed and add your website URL to it. And if you get a score less than 90 like this, then your site is already too slow and we need to fix this before we do anything else. Now there's a few speed plugins in the market, but they're either paid or they have hundreds of settings which makes my head roll. So my team made our very own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. Unlike me, they've built successful plugins before, so you can trust that they know their stuff. So after installing Airlift, you just need to add your site and then it starts doing everything needed to make your site up to three times faster so that you can get a 90 plus score like you can see here. There's no hidden conditions here. You can keep it activated for free and keep your site fast. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. Let's first open our browser and then type in talk.to. Now this is the website. So let's click on it. And here just click on sign up for free. So let's fill in your details and click sign up. Then choose a language and then click on create property. Then enter the website name and then paste the URL then click on team members. Here you can add other people who you want to answer the live chat for you. I'm just gonna skip this for now. So you can copy this code here and paste it in your WordPress site or the simpler thing to do is to install the WordPress plugin. So I'm gonna go back to our WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and add new and search for the talk plugin. Here it is. So let's install and then activate it. Then go back to our dashboard and then click done. All right, now your account has been set up and you can take a tour of the dashboard, but I'm just gonna click here and skip that. Okay, now we need to link the plugin to our account. So let's come back, go to the plugin, click on settings, then go to account settings and enter our login details from when we signed up to talk. So we'll add that and then click login. Now we can click here and select the property we created and then the widget and click on use that selected widget. Now the widget has been added to our site. So let's check it by going to our site, refreshing the page. And yes, we can see this little chat box in the bottom. Let's see how the live chat works by default. So after a few seconds of being on the page, a message will pop up with some default welcome text. So I'm gonna type a question here. Maybe click and add an image. So I'll add a screenshot and also put an emoji and send it. And now if I come back to my WordPress dashboard, there's an audio alert, which obviously we can customize. But first let's see where the message is. So on the top right, click on monitoring and you've got one active chat, which we just sent. Uh, so let's go there. And here we can see a test message. So I can join the chat like this and it will show that I've joined. I'll reply with a hi for now. And if I come back to our site, you can see that the reply has come and I'm visible to the customer. You can also reply to messages on Android or Apple smartphones as well by using the app here. Now, I'm gonna show you how to customize everything you need in this chat box. So let's come back to our dashboard, go to the bottom of the profile icon, and then on manage sound and notifications. And let's change it to something a little bit more chill like this. Then go to the settings up here, and this is our property overview. Now the first thing I will do is customize the photo. So let's click here, upload an image and save it. Now let's change the theme color so we can click here. Now click on the advanced tab and you can disable things, adjust the widget position on screen and then hit save when you're done. Now I'll show you how to add triggers. I'll just customize this welcome message trigger to show up after every 10 seconds by clicking here and selecting it from the drop down box. Then I can change the message to what I want like this and then click save. All right, now let's go back and test it. So I'm going to refresh my site and you can see the edits to the chat box are showing now. Now, why did I recommend Talk and not the other two popular tools called Tidio and Crisp? Here's a comparison table showing why Talk is better for most beginners. 
As you can see, Talk has unlimited live chat messages and triggers. So triggers are basically automatic conditions that you can set to make live chat more useful. Like you can set a trigger for sending a hi, how can I help you message after somebody spent 10 seconds on your site. Also, Talk has advanced analytics, which is very helpful. Now, you might ask, there must be some catch here. How can Talk give these features for free when their competitors can't? Well, they have a little page on their website explaining why this service is free and how they generate revenue. And I have to say it's quite honest, especially for a company with the highest market share in this category. Basically, the free version has a small branding below, which I don't think bothers anyone, but you can remove it for $20 a month. And they have some overpowered paid features like AI Assist that gives you a customized AI chatbot that uses your data to answer customer doubts automatically. And they even have trained live chat agents for hire at just $1 an hour. So overall, I think this is the best choice for beginners because it's free and its paid features are actually quite good as well. Also, don't miss this video where I use a new free speed plugin that can triple your site speed, which will really boost your SEO and user experience. So click here and I'll see you there.